What do we have today? Two cans full of Made in the USA from Rapid Road. We'll talk about the details in a moment. I'm Tim Johnson. You're watching Shop Tour Reviews. Rarely today when we're talking about tools or accessories do we use the words made in the USA. Well, Rapid Rope is a different story because they are made right here. Now, what is Rapid Rope? I'm sure by the name you can kind of figure out that it's some type of rope, right? Well, that is correct. This is a, think of flat paracord would be kind of what this is. And by the way, you can get it in different colors. Uh, but anyway, they come in the canisters. You can also buy refills. Uh, and it's a really cool company and a really cool product. And you know what? It's one of those products that everybody can use. I mean, from the person that works in a kitchen to the person that works in the field doing construction to the person doing heavy equipment, mechanic, you name it. We're always tying something off, whether it's on the weekends or on the weekdays or both. And to have something handy like this, because you know that wad of rope is always getting tangled just like an extension cord and to have the canister here. And anyway, let's get to it. Let's take a closer look at this. We got a pretty cool test to test out the 1100 pounds of tensile strength. 1100? Yeah, 1100 pounds. Let's get to it. So let's get a little closer look at the rapid rope. I have two containers here, uh, one that I've opened, one that I have not. You can also tell right away that uh, two different colors here. So this one has the orange and this one the green. And I believe there's a couple of other colors available as well. Uh, let's go ahead and cut this one open. And I'll show you a couple of the cool things about this, both the, the canister and the rope. Right away you can tell that the rope is not a round rope. It is like a, a flat weave or almost like a flat paracord. Uh, like you'd see, you know, your round typical paracord that a lot of people use nowadays. Uh, this is a flat version of it, and there are several reasons for that. Number one, we get a tensile strength of 1,200 pounds. So uh, this should be able to arguably pick up around 1,200 pounds. Um, also, it's, it's very light, uh, especially for the strength of it. And the cool thing about this canister is, number one, that it's reusable. So when you buy these canisters, you can buy the canister, obviously, with the rope in it. And then as you use it uh, and you need to replace it, you can buy the refills and save some money on the canisters because you, you want to keep the canister. Uh, it's just an easy kind of a looks like an eight turn and locks it into place so you don't even have to screw it on. Um, and to replace it, obviously, you just stick the rope through there and uh, don't even have to peel the plastic off of the canister and lock that down. Now, the cool thing about this also is it has a cutting blade right there under this little... Uh, uh, this little stick up right here. So you can easily just pull this out, however much you need, pull that and it's already cut the rope. So you don't have to break out a knife, you don't have to break out scissors, easily pull out what you need, wrap it around there and you're done. So really cool that that whole, and it, you can see it kind of holds that, that piece in place so it's not dangling around, you don't have a, uh, tying in knots or anything like that. Made in the USA. So rarely to see any type of tools or accessories that are made in the USA anymore, but this is the case still made in the USA. So rapid rope, um, we're going to use this first. Let me show you something even with this stuff here. So let me pull off a little bigger piece and I'll show you one of the unique characteristic characteristics about this. As you can see again, kind of get the, not kind of, it has that flat, uh, braid to it or flat weave to it. So very thin till you turn the side profile. So I'm gonna do a typical square knot. So I'm gonna go right over left and then I'm gonna go left over right. Okay. And you should easily be able to see kind of those two loops hooking together to easily identify a square knot. Okay. And then I'm gonna pull that tight. Pull it as tight as I can. And now let's see here. Look at that. So I pulled it as tight as I could. Again, left over right. Right over left. Again, we have those interlocking loops. So we know we got a square knot. Let me try that again. So right over left. Left over right. Yep, there's our interlocking loops. 
Pull that as tight as I can. And look at there, it comes right out. Now, sometimes you have to roll that in your fingertips. That helps a little bit, but I just had to push those and loosen that knot. Now, got another plan for this, so let's go over and see what it is. What we have here is an LS 6.0 uh, truck motor, so it is a cast iron block. If you know anything about LS's, a lot of them are aluminum. Most of them are aluminum. In this case, it is a cast iron truck block. Uh, again, I said a 6.0, fully decked out. You can see everything from fuel injection to exhaust manifolds. You've got the AC compressor on it, power steering pump, alternator, attached to a 4L80E transmission, full of fluids, full of oil, full of transmission fluid. Um, Everything, even a lot of the mounting brackets, even the, uh, the snout of the, uh, of the drive shaft is on there. So this thing probably weighs in at somewhere around 1,000 pounds, I would assume, because I think a typical LS long block is around 600 pounds. So add to it the cast iron and, and the transmission and everything else. We should be around 1,000 pounds. Anyway, it weighs a lot, put it that way, more than me. So we're going to use our lift here. We're going to tie up some of the rapid rope around here and pick it up. We're going to knot the rope and we're going to pick it up and A, see if it actually picks it up without breaking and then B, see if we can actually loosen the knots afterwards. So, not really sure where we're going to attach this, but let's get to it. I think what we'll do, we'll go around the arm and loop around the idler pulley, around the bracket there, around those two bolts and then knot it up right here. So, let's see. Yeah, that's about right. And we're going to do the same thing around here around the alternator bracket. And then we'll loop all the way around uh, the back of the transmission. And let's see what we got. Now this is a perfectly good motor that will be going in one of our future projects. So I do want to take care of it. Uh, let's see what we got here. Oops, look, I'm a little off balance on my tie in there. Let me set it back down. Okay, now let's see what we got. Okay, she's off the ground. So we're definitely holding it. We can easily see that it is completely off the ground, at least off the, uh, off the dollies there. So the tensile strength definitely holds. Let's see if we can get the knots out. Okay, so here's our knot from picking up the transmission end. I think that might have been more weight than we can get out with our hands. Okay, so we couldn't get the other knot out uh, that was holding the transmission side. And I don't think we can get this one out either. And it doesn't feel like rolling it in my fingertips is really loosening it. I don't think that should count against the rope at all. We just picked up a thousand pounds here. However, I've got a set of pliers that don't have any teeth, so they're flat. They're not going to hurt anything or shouldn't. I'm just going to squeeze on this a little just to see. And I'm not, I'm not like digging at it to loosen it. I'm just squeezing it just a little bit here and there to see if I, th I can then get it loose. Oh yeah, it's coming. And I doubt you'd do that with a rope. 
do the last one. Again, we will try do it with our fingers, but I doubt it. Yeah. So again, I'm going to take my pliers and just kind of squeeze it in a few places. That's all I'm doing. All I'm doing is squeezing the knot. I'm not grab, trying to grab the knot and pull it at all. And there you go. And that's the rapid rope. The fact that we picked up that entire motor and transmission, that's well over a thousand pounds. I uh, know we didn't use just one single strand of rope, which this probably could have done. Again, it's saying 1,100 pounds, but, uh, but anyway, still, the fact that we just tied it off to a couple of brackets and were able to pick that up, I wouldn't try that with a normal size rope of this size. Anyway, really easy to use, really quick to just pull it out, cut it off, um, and then knot it up however you want. And the fact that the knots come out, now no, after picking up the motor, can we take our hands and just roll it up and take those out. But I'm telling you, uh, by hand, I can tighten this as tight as I want to, and I can still get the knot out. I'll show you right here. And still, I can usually push that knot out. Sometimes I have to roll it my fingers. But your typical rope, your typical string is not going to do that. So pretty cool design. Even so, even if you're getting rid of this every time and it's kind of disposable, the fact that this is in a canister, you can put it in a cup holder, you can throw it under your truck seat, throw it in the toolbox of your bed, whatever. A really cool idea here from Rapid Rope. Now, here's the thing. The canister with the, with the cutting blade and everything, that's 25 bucks. So as you see it, filled with 100, 120, yeah, 120 feet of rope or 120 feet of rapid rope is $25. However, when you get done, you've used it all, you're getting near the bottom, you can buy the replacement cartridges for just $14.95, so 15 bucks. So for $15, you can buy the replacements and stick it in your canister and you're good to go. Got the cool cutting blade right there with it. Great idea from Rapid Rope. You can find them at rapidrope.com. You can also find these on Amazon as well. Again, $25 for the complete canister, $15 for the replacements. You can also get their trucker hat for $25. If you don't mind, would you follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter? And if you liked our video, would you hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't already? And by the way, if you hated our video, give us a thumbs down. But would you let us know in the comments why? Have a great day. Keep smiling.